Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Travis from Making It with Matthews. I'm here with two beautiful ladies, Taylor and my wife Melissa. It's February 2014 and it's Black History Month. So today we're going around giving you a black Gullah Geechee Charleston food tour, guys. This first stop we're stopping at is not actually Gullah Geechee, they're African, but we know, all know that's where the culture came from. So we had to stop here first. It's called Bintu Atelier. I think I'm saying it right, but if I didn't, I'll correct Bintu Atelier. That's literally what I said. I just did Atelier. Right? Anyway, guys, well, come on, let's go inside and let's see what they have. So, guys, before we go inside to our first stop, we want to let you know what app we're using to help make this entire thing possible. Today we have five stops. We are using the Circuit app to help us with mapping all of our destinations and it makes it super easy to put it on the map and figure out what are your closest destinations and the closest time to get there. So we're starting with Bintu Atelier, then we're off to Hannibal's Kitchen, and next we have Bertha's Kitchen, Nigel's Foods, and Ravenel Fresh Seafood. So that's our destinations today, and we're super, super excited to bring you guys along, so let's do this. So they've been open for eight months. They moved down here from New York. You said they used to do something called the Marcus Garvey Boat Ride in New York, where they host a bunch of black entrepreneurs, and they have food and different stuff like that. So, so being down here, like when I first came down, um, I, she was already down here for a while. Okay. But when I first came down, I didn't really see black people. I was always coming downtown, so I never really saw black people. And then... Um, once we opened up this establishment, okay, okay. once again, food conquers all, and they all started to come out. A lot of woodwork. So yeah. all, like I said, the entrepreneurs, so body shops, barber shops, bookstores, the, all the the um, you know all the other food places. Mm -hmm. Everyone started, okay. you know, to come out. The farmers as well. Everyone started to come out, and then just the African community. Um, that I didn't even know existed down here as well. Yes. Started to come out of nowhere. What African country are you from? I am stateside. She okay. is from Senegal. Senegal. Yeah. Very nice. We have Ghanaian friends. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we have a couple uh, Gambians in there right now. But, you know, you Togo, Togo ambassador, you mm -hmm. know, hosted uh, Benjamin Charvis. Uh, he's come here in his entourage. Um, and then, of course, African American Museum. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they gave us a lot of um, support. Still do, but um, no, it's 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 been nice and humbling. Um, you have actually ever done been part of the Black Culture Festival? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, we tried. I think she filled out one for last year, gotcha. and then they contacted her like very last minute. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, now. I get it. Um, but you know, we're gonna work on that. We're here now. Cool. So Definitely. Uh, we look forward to trying it out. Like it wants to waste it. Fufu and this looks amazing, you guys. Like amazing. Oh, can't wait to try. You I gotta go in with the finger. The okay. And then you take a piece of the meat. I see this very, very, very. Okay. And then you go. Mm, that looks yummy. Yeah. That was like when I went to Ireland. So I first buy it. Goat's tender. Now as much spice, so I'm gonna add this. I like my food super spicy. Let's test it first before. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You need the pepper. That's why they give it to you. So. Yeah. So I need to add the spice to it. 
Mm-hmm. I remember every African country cooks different to you. Mm-hmm. So there's a like Ghanaian food or Nigerian food. There's a Senegalese. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Senegalese like, stew. It's like rice. Everybody cooks their stuff a little bit different. Fries. Yeah, so. It's good. Once I add the pepper. What type of juice is that? So, so. Tastes like the real thing. It's like I'm drinking it, licking it, running off my elbows, eating the food. What's up guys? Hope you guys like what you saw just now. We enjoyed the food. We had our second location. It's Hannibal's. So come on, let's go inside and see what's going on. This spot I think is Gullah Geechee Soul Kitchen kind of vibe. So let's go inside and see what's going on. It's very popular in Charleston. So what I'm seeing so far is that a lot of the food that has vegetable also has smoked neck bones and pink tails, so you want to be cautious with that. So I'm thinking Travis is probably just going to order a fish fillet because he wouldn't want anything that has pork in it. Also, guys, they are pet friendly. Put it over there. Thank you yeah, so well, much. Guys, these are cute. I wish I could pet y'all, but I work it. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Gabe. Gabe, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet y'all too. What's y'all? We have a really scrumptious looking cornbread. This is the small okra stew, and it has. Pork in oh, it, I thought it was obviously. crab rice. This is crab oh, okay. rice with shrimp, and we have mac and cheese. And guys, that looks all like of some this good mac and is cheese. what you consider gullah geechee food based on how they make it and the spices that they use. So you liking it so far? Guys, I can't wait to dig in on this okra stew right here. The okra, you can see the tomato. Mmm. Mm hmm. Yes, Lord. Mommy, we need to bring this. Seasoned. Seasoned. Well seasoned. Other. This looks like it's ham hocks or whatever they call that thing. This tastes like pigtail. Oh, yeah. This is tastes like what? right here. This doesn't taste like cob. You know what this tastes like? White rice and salt mackerel. Yeah? Let me see. Personally, in my opinion, the food at the other place wasn't as well seasoned as this. And everything that I've eaten tastes good. So it's not like, like the food food you had was iffy. And my chicken wings tasted like chicken. You know what I mean? Right now, Ghana food food is winning. All African food food in the same, guys. We had some Senegalese food food, and my daughter is not digging it. Okay, but what about the place that we're at right now? Delicious, delicious, delicious. Cornbread, 10. This, eight and a half, nine. What's this? I mean, crab rice, eight and a half, nine. Not my favorite. Mac and cheese, nine and a half. I enjoyed my shrimp over there for the presentation and the way they kind of like blended it. Apparently with some ancient grain or something like that. So it was good. But yeah, the food here is definitely more flavorful. Definitely got soul in it. Like they said, they feed in the soul of the city. Um, I like the host and the people that was inside, I was like cracking jokes with them. Got the grandmother come get me the bear and the daughter telling her, the young girl, she's like, Grandma, look the bear there and Grandma, you gotta open it. She said, me ain't no nothing about bear. I said, well, she seems like she know a lot about bear because she know where it is, how to open it. The little girl running gun. Grandmother said, you, you, might, you might be right with that one. 
Oh, they're yeah. very friendly. They brought music on water. So, so far, I get how it goes. Like Taylor said, I'm nano. Hey guys, we're at our third location, which is Bertha's Kitchen, where we're here to check out some Gullah Geechee food and soul food and just see how it tastes. That sounds like yummy. It tastes like popsicle juice. Gotcha. So this is purple Kool-Aid. Taylor has never had Kool-Aid, but she said it tastes really good. Now, I'm asking hubby if he's ever collected Kool-Aid points. If you guys know what I'm talking about, leave a comment down below. So Kool-Aid points are on the back of the Kool-Aid packet. You get like two points, three points, and then you would get to win like the Kool-Aid jug with the little mini cups. Like, you know, Mr. Kool-Aid, the red jug? Never had that. Ask mommy. I was like, Taylor, I was adamant. So I'm gonna show him what that looked like. I collected enough Kool-Aid packets in my days, okay? Each meal comes a cornbread, and I also got the fried chicken special. This, all of this was six dollars, okay? With white rice and lima beans. We also got neck bones to try. I've never had neck bones before. We got fried fish for hubby to try. It looks like a whiting, and then he also has corn, which doesn't have meat, but I got some, um, what do you call this? Collard greens. Collard greens. So we're about to dig in. All of this was $21. And including the Kool-Aid. $21, y'all. What do you think? What do you think, music? Con, you have a fork over there or no? I mean, that's good. Nice and hot. It is good. Mm -hmm. I have no complaints about it. Yeah, Alright, let's try the net bones. Okay, let's try this lima beans. So again, what we're seeing is that a lot of these places, the vegetables and sides all have pork in them. Okay, don't get in trouble, music. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Chicken? Good. Music. This reminds me of KFC chicken in Jamaica. So good. Guys, I am so amazed at the pricing. <laughs> Time to dig into the neck bones. Now I mentioned to you guys I've never had neck bones before. So I'm really excited to see what it tastes like. When I bite into this, I was expecting it to be salty. Not salty at all. It's like falling off of the bones. And the flavor is there. Mm -hmm. 
Not salty at all. Just right. So we're currently at our fourth and final stop for the day. We are very stuffed with all of the goodness that we've already had. And we're currently at Ravenel Fresh Seafood, which is about 20 minutes outside of Charleston. And here you can find fresh fish, but we're particularly here for the garlic crabs. We're so excited to try this garlic crabs. We ordered a dozen, so let's get into it. Are home um, we decided to take the garlic crabs home but um, they come cold so that way we don't have to eat all of them right now but we just had a little piece I just had a little piece so delicious the sauce the tenderness of the meat mm-hmm mm Mm hmm Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Just put some more sauce in a bowl for me. <laughs> I could just dip up the sauce in anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't want to make sauce on my one. Yeah. 